My name is Stephen Blum. I am the CTO of PubNub, and I am changing the world. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've been in the software engineering business for 11 years, and uh, I created my first company when I was 17. It was a company that allowed you to manage your online brand easily with a real-time website editor. Um, my company was acquired. I made more money than I ever had. I bought the car I always wanted, and I just hung out for a while. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, and then I discovered Silicon Valley. And uh, I joined a team who was doing HTML5 apps that would display over a 1080p broadcast. We'd actually go into the studio, and uh, we would put a browser overlay, a real browser, an HTML5 browser, over the 1080p broadcast that would go across to all the nation. And we'd show stuff like real-time uh, audience sentiment and vote tallies and things like that. Uh, that company was acquired by the guy who owns American Idol. And then fast forward to present day, and I am now been working at PubNub for three years uh, with a smart team of engineers building PubNub. And that's what I'm going to tell you about today is PubNub. So our goals are I will cover the topics and solutions that PubNub provides and walk through some showcase customers, the people who are using PubNub. And then I'll uh, show you some live examples, some useful ones, and then some kind of cool ones, but not whatsoever useful. And we'll open up a terminal window, and I'll actually be coding. I'll be coding with you guys. So here's a quick video. You may have seen it. This is just a snippet of our live uh, video on the website. You can go to YouTube and find it. So I'm going to play it now, and I'm going to hold my speaker to the microphone. All right, so that was just a quick version. Uh, there's a full four-minute version on the web if you want to check that out. Just YouTube for uh, PubNub. Anytime you have any questions, just ask me. I'd like to keep this conversational because we're going to be doing coding in the terminal, so I'll be, I'll be uh, talking just a little bit. But um, on the way, I'm going to be telling you about uh, the general fabric of the Internet, the world's population. Currently, there's 50% of adults are online across the earth, and you can ping any of those adults in like a quarter of a second. There are 1.2 billion users on mobile. And the reality of this is that you can't really interact with those other people. There's, there's, not, there's no human interaction, and there's, there's not really a way to collaborate. However, you've heard about other companies like Skype and World of Warcraft that allow you to connect with other users in real time. And the challenge with those companies is that they've spent tens of millions of dollars for infrastructure just to conceive the technology and in order to uh, maintain like millions of users' population. It's very expensive. And they spent even more to maintain the systems. And it's because real time is hard. It's complex. Um, any CS college freshman can build a website, can spin up a database backend, and build a business off that. However, Building real time is complex and expensive. There's all these protocols and operations and different ports that you can run stuff through. Um, building a cost effective real time solution is even more of a delicate process. And we have democratized real time apps. We've made it easy to connect everyone on Earth in a quarter of a second. And we have two major services to choose from. The first service I'm going to tell you about is PubNub Pulse. PubNub Pulse is a service that allows you to connect to individual users. Millions of connections open, so you can signal individual people on one-off requests. And I'll tell you about people who are using PubNub Pulse today. Um, the largest voice over IP company, the second one, the second largest voice over IP company is Reptel. They've replaced their entire infrastructure, which was the SIP protocol, with PubNub because it allowed them to do cross-platform easily and get past all the proxies and firewalls that were in their way. Um, and also, my PC backup is another company that connects hundreds of thousands of devices that trigger server-side backup triggering, so that way you can back up your software and your services uh, from your laptops. And they've got a full global distribution across multiple continents on the Earth. 
Um, and many more are using PubNet today, such as telcos, chats, um, customer service uh, applications, uh, dispatch services like taxi services, and, uh, and much more. So let's talk about our other product, PubNub Galaxy. PubNub Galaxy allows you to like mass fan out to people. You can send one message and send it to millions of people simultaneously. Um, people who have used uh, this technology are UEFA. EuroCup 2012 used PubNub for broadcasting out events that, um, like, you know, score update. And uh, PubNub is so fast that you actually saw that when Spain versus Germany, when Spain scored, you saw that Spain scored, but you're still watching the screen and you haven't seen a goal yet. That's because the message came to you faster over PubNub than you saw over the broadcast because it was five seconds delayed. Um, and our average latencies were 50 milliseconds, and it was a global audience. We also have um, Spike TV. They did uh, real-time sync on the TV, so you could see you know, audience sentiment eaters in real time. And we did about 2 million messages per second with, with these guys. There's a lot more that are using PubNub Galaxy as well, such as entertainment and social TV and second screen advertising companies, uh, sporting events and concerts, and a lot more. So PubNub's globally distributed, 10 data centers. Um, it's been proven for scalability and reliability for the past uh, two years. We have thousands of customers who use PubNub daily. And um, you've seen that we have over two peak, 200 or 2 million peak connections, uh, peak messages per day, per second. OK. So even on disconnect, um, phones, like say you switch from 3G to Wi-Fi, PubNub does this thing that we call catch-up. So um, the phone comes back online and it's missed messages since it's been away. So we re-deliver all messages that you may have missed. Um, we also provide high levels of security with AES and SSL. Um, uh, financial institutions and banking software typically need high security applications and transports and PubNub offers this in all of our clients. So that's a lot of features. I mean, we provide a lot with our API. Um, so what's our business model? We have a transparent uh, cost pricing model. Um, we have a free sandbox tier, so you can have one million messages per month for free, and then it's a dollar per million after that. Um, and once you get out of sandbox, you can go and go for $15 a month. And then we've got a global tier that offers some awesome features. Uh, we also have real-time analytics. So you can go into your account, see which users uh, across Earth are sending and receiving messages across your account in real time. So it's like right now, this very second. Um, and this is available today. You can log into your account and get it right now. Um, so in summary, since uh, I was just talking to you about the general overview of PubNub, we connect everyone on Earth everywhere. Um, I've created a, a new Linux C process that runs in all of our data centers. And it's close to the bare metal, so it's really fast. And uh, I'm putting a stake in the ground. My mission is to connect every device on Earth and beyond. Okay, on with the tutorial. I'm going to be telling you guys about the API. So we've got a simple send and receive function, publish and subscribe. Um, I'll be walking through some of this. Uh, we put a lot of work behind these two APIs. It's, it's, it's simple, um, but it provides so much. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be uh, mirroring my monitor so that way I can see everything that you guys see up there. And then we're going to be going through some tutorials and actually be doing some coding there. Let's see, so display, so pull up. I'm going to do arrange mirror. All right. Cool, you can see everything I can see now. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you the developer console pubnub.com forward slash console. All right, let's see here. OK, so here we've got a developer console. Um, I've just connected by clicking subscribe. And now I can send messages um, to myself or to other people. So if I open up another console and duplicate that window, I can say, hello send a bunch, and it receives it on both consoles. So if you were to actually subscribe on this channel, you could see messages appear up here on the screen as well um, with your connection, since we're on the same channel. 
Oh, and I see that people are joining. We've got another presence event section. We can see, oh, someone said hello. Who's that? All right. Cool. All right, so let's go on to the next thing. Um, I'm going to be opening up a text editor, and then I'm going to be coding. Uh, just a quick little PubNub app. So um, I type I type pretty fast. So try try to try to keep up here. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so what just happened here? Um, <laughs> I, uh, I included a PubNub script um, on our CDN, and uh, actually this is pulling straight from S3 in this case, which looks like that. Um, so uh, let me open up that file in a real terminal, so you can see it by index. PubNub.html. Okay. This page will open up a PubNub connection, and then subscribe, and then show any output. So let me zoom in here so you can see that a little better. Okay. Um, let's actually run this and see what happens. Tab opt. Let's see. Users. Stephen Blum, PubMed HTML. Okay. So here we've got uh, it's connected on the demo subscribe key and on my channel. So I should be able to go to the dev console and push data to this. So switch this out here. So we've got two windows. Let me resize this here. Cool. I should go to the dev console, and I should be able to send data and update it in real time. I can even push like HTML. Yeah, it happens in real time. So if you've got multiple devices, no matter where they are on Earth, if you have an iPad, you can also use this. Um, since uh, this file is on my local this is on my local drive, if you haven't noticed. I'm actually receiving data straight from my local system. Um, yep. Um, okay, let's go on to the next one. What do we have lined up here next? Okay, so I'm actually, I'll open up the dev console so we can do some slower coding so you can see what's actually going on here. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a connection, pubnub. So, let me zoom in here so you can see it. You give it a channel. It seems like someone updated. Oh, someone pushed an object. Okay. Give it a channel, let's say uh, ABC. And you give it a callback. And you, the callback requires that a single argument comes in, which is the message. And you can alert uh, the message. Oh, missing subscribe key. Oh, okay. I forgot to initialize pubnub. So var p equals pubnub.init. Let's see. Publish key is demo. And subscribe key is demo. Okay. So then I take p instead. Okay, now I'm subscribed. So now I can say p.publish and give it the channel A, B, C, and the message. Okay, as soon as I press enter, if there's no syntax errors, I should get an alert object on my screen. There it goes. So if I were to publish, oops, if I were to publish into the ABC channel, on the dev console. Should get an alert statement. There it goes. Cool. Um, are there any questions so far? Okay, I'll keep continuing on to the next thing that I was going to show you guys. Okay, now I'm going to show you where to find uh, some cool tutorials. These are all HTML5 tutorials. So I'm going to go to GitHub and Google. 
This is our open source public repository. It's MIT open sourced. Um, everything on here is yours to take and keep and do whatever you want. We've got uh, APIs in many different programming languages, including JavaScript. And we've got an app showcase here that has a lot of different examples that you can check out. And these are pretty much all JavaScript based. The one that I'm going to show you right now is Audio Mosaic, because it's kind of neat. API, App Showcase, Audio Mosaic. Okay. Open up a different browser. All right, this is the one that's kind of neat, but mostly pointless. So I'll pull open two browsers here. Let's see, let me uh, resize this so you can see it a little better. All right, so now we've got two people um, on this page. Uh, you can see that both the timers are synchronized, or it, they will soon be synchronized. Um, the top left, because there's a drift every so often, it will drift and synchronize. Um, but what you can do is you can click and control the other user's uh, experience, and then it will play music, I think. So let's try it out. Then I can... Uh... Yeah. And it's, it's pointless, like I said, but it's kind of cool. And you see the times are already synchronized. It's already one minute, one minute for both of them. And then if more people join, um, you'll see more people. Yep. And then uh, so the. Yep. All right. Um, the source code is pretty straightforward. Um, mostly all the the user interface and the playing of the HTML5 audio sound is the complex and tricky part. So I'll just go to uh, da, da, da. you can walk through a little bit of the source code so you can see what's going on there. Um, let's see here. What time do I got? Okay, so it looks like I have 10 minutes left to show you guys what's what. Um, if that's the case, if I only have 10 minutes left, then I'll go on to show you the the other demo. <laughs> Okay, Let's see PubNub chat channel presence. There's a lot of videos um, along the lines of this particular app. It's kind of cool. Um, you should check it out, PubNub chat channel presence. It's a, a simple app that allows you to understand how to use PubNub and how to get people into a channel in a chat room. And then it uh, uses Twitter OAuth to authenticate the users. Um, I'll actually show you pub, let's see, it's called Valley. There we go. So I'll just uh, sign in here real quick with myself. And if you hit this URL up here at the top, um, PubNub S3 Amazon AWS forward slash Valley index uh, HTML, you can, uh, you can play around with this as well. And it uses, uh, this is pretty much all HTML5 here. Every time you hit a text chat message, hello. Um, let's open another one. Oh, and it already knows that I'm me. So let's do it in Firefox. Skip. All right, who's online? Okay, I happen to become Bill Gates. I am Bill Gates. Yeah. Oh, hey, Eddie joined. Who's Eddie? All right. Um, so this is this is a, a simple app. You can check out the source code. It's totally open source and available to you guys. Um, the one that you care about is probably is it this one. No, it's not that one. Where's the source code you care about? Well, you'll have a chance to check it. Here it is. It's called Chat. This is the source code that's interesting. Mostly it's all the interface. The easy part is PubNub. So if you search for PubNub, um, you can figure out and follow along uh, in this app. Brian, cool. All 
right. All right, so I've got eight minutes. Um, I'm going to see if within this eight minutes I can create a mini chat from scratch. I, have, I haven't practiced this, so I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, I, I see chat.html. So I'm going to open the chat window. Div ID equals output. Div ID. Uh, let's see this do input. Okay, let's do script. HTTP colon uh, cdn dot pubnub.com forward slash pubnub hyphen 3.3. Point min.js. Script. Let's do a anonymous function. Let's go var p equals pubnub. Init. Publish key demo. Dot subscribe channel chat and then callback is my function. Message then say output dot inner each channel. Then let's bind the output. Let's know the input. Let's see. On key up. Function. Let's see. Let me see. P dot. That's what I want. All right. So I've got five minutes left. All right. That looks about rightish. I don't know if that's complete. Let's open it up in a browser and test it out. Users, home, Stephen Blum. Whoa! Hey, hey, cool. All right. What do you know? That worked. Um, I just need to add in a br or something. Let's see. All right. Let's see what happens. Every keystroke. Cool. It's kind of a chat. <laughs> All right. Um. So now I've got about four minutes for questions. Um, you saw kind of how PubNub worked. I created a, a mini chat app. Um, yes, sir. Yes. So, yep, so, so the question was, do we store messages? Is that correct? Yes, and the answer is yes. We, we do have a message history API called uh, uh, p.history. And um, there's some arguments you can pass in here to get back <coughs> retrieve past messages. We offer a service for up to 30 days, so you can just continue to go back and get old messages. Um, that chat demo presence, this, this uses that feature. And the demo keys also provide uh, this as well for you. And the other question is about analytics. Um, we do. So it, we've got a, a cool real-time analytics that's available to your account. You may have stopped by our booth to see this. Um, this is live data going across PubNub right now. This is a small amount of our real live traffic. It's like 0.000001%. Because 
because if we showed all traffic, it would it would just blow up the monitor. Um, there'd be too many dots, and it wouldn't make sense. But this is available to your account, so when you sign up with PubNub, you'll be able to see your specific users. Right. Um, this particular app right here is uses Twitter OAuth, and it's a JavaScript Twitter-based OAuth, and you can uh, it'll automatically sign you in. You can just check out the source code. It's called Twitter Anywhere, which is one of the easiest Twitter OAuth signings that I've seen. Facebook is 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 just as easy, and it's pretty easy to implement as well. Yeah, sir. Oh, in terms of subscribe and publish key? Yeah. So what you do is you'll log in to your account, um, use whatever authentication you want. I'll use Steven. And then you can see um, your API keys right here. So we, we, we assign those to you. <laughs> yeah. These, yeah, these are these are open. These are in demos, so you can check those out. And then you also get some stats on uh, on usage, and then you can even check out real-time analytics. And I don't think my keys are very active, but you'll be able to see um, live numbers ticking through. Actually, yeah, there's some data going on there. Not very much. Yeah. Um, also, by the mere fact of using this, you'll be consuming messages because it's using PubNub to measure your usage of PubNub to show you. <laughs> Any other questions? Cool. Is uh, all right. Is our is our next speaker here yet? I don't see. Oh, cool. Hey there, Harold. All right. Well, um, thank you guys. Come see us at our booth and follow us on Twitter. <laughs>